Attention viewers, Nerd Den needs you to subscribe to his channel to help him reach 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. You will obey or you will be exterminated. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Nerd Den here once again. And in today's video, I am going to be looking at all of your theories for series 13. Now I did do a community post on the channel a few days ago where I wanted to collect all of everyone's theories and kind of discuss them in a video. So yeah, that is going to be what today's video is about. And I will be hopefully doing more stuff like this in the future just to try and get you all involved with videos and everything like that. So with that being said, let's get into today's video. Right, so here we go. Uh, the first one um, is saying, Vinda is a male incarnation of Ramana. Rassilon reveals that the Master is a timeless child, and the Master will be after revenge. Dan will stumble upon the TARDIS by accident, and that's where the picture in DWM 570 is from. The Fugitive Doctor is from a parallel universe. Yazid Dan will exit tragically in the second special. Overall, the series is going to be a blast. Can't wait. So, there is a popular theory about Vinda, who is played by Jacob Anderson. Um, that he is going to be a, you know, like a baddie or something like that, or like someone that floats um, in between the morals of good and evil. And the name Romana is, you know, brought up a lot. And it, it would be cool to see Romana come back. Romana previously had a role in Tom Baker's era. We saw two incarnations of that Time Lord. Um, and it would be nice to see a new incarnation. Um, but then again, we don't know a lot about Vinda's characterization. Apart from that, you know, he's a bit of like an emotional character and he does have um, places um, on both ends of the moral compass. So it is very possible that he could be Romana. But again, we just got to keep an open mind. Um, the whole thing as well uh, with Rassilon revealing uh, the Masters of Time's Child. Rassilon, I think, will end up having a role somehow in this series because Rassilon is one of the founding fathers of Gallifrey that did hide the secret of the Timeless Child, so I do think it is possible. Um, and yeah, the Master being the Timeless Child, whilst yeah, I would be annoyed about a retcon, even though I'm not 100% behind the idea of the Timeless Child, um, I do think that uh, something uh, with the Master, like it would kind of make sense, I, I, I guess, but I just wish they did that originally instead of misleading us. Um, but yeah, if the Master did find that out, he would definitely be up for revenge so yeah i do think that's quite likely and uh, dan stumbling upon the tides by accident i think that seems like a classic companion introduction that would work it would be nice to see that happen um and just yeah i, I guess an idea of how dan stumbles across the tides we don't really know but it's a nice idea uh, but we move on to something a little bit more serious now at this point that the fugitive doctor is from a parallel universe um that would be very interesting um just because uh, yeah, the, the whole thing with Joe Martin's Doctor is we don't exactly know how she fits into the, the Doctor's timeline or anything like that. Um, it is heavily um, hinted that she is before the first Doctor, played by William Hartnell, um, that obviously does um, pose a few um, plot holes and everything like that that will probably be answered in the new series. But imagine if it is a parallel universe. There's been a lot of hints towards the multiverse anyway especially when it came to the press release for John Bishop being cast as Dan, exploring various universes. It, it would kind of work, but again, we just have to see what uh, the, you know, the producers are doing. And uh, about Yaz and Dan exiting tragically in the second special, that could still happen. I know they've been seen filming um, for the uh, centenary special, uh, maybe they could be as ghosts or something like that. It could be a cop out. It could be for the regeneration scene. You don't know, or they could literally just be there for filming purposes. You never know. You never know. But we move on to the next point. While it's pretty much confirmed that there will be a timeless child arc, it feels like Chimnall is trying to go. Is trying to do it with something big. 
I feel like they might address the time fracture, although it could be more for alternate media. The series feels like an early 60th, with some of the already confirmed returning villains. I'm not sure how it could end, if it fully wraps up the five-year plan, or the specials act as a final tour for Jody. Yeah, a very interesting one there. Yeah, it will definitely have the Time of Child story arc, and um, Chibnall, I think he is going all out with this series and the specials, because this is going to wrap up not only the story arc, but his era. So hopefully he gets to, um, you know, deliver on his full vision. Now, as I mentioned previously, I'm not 100% uh, behind this whole Timeless Child story arc, but it would be good to get a proper, you know, a full vision of his story, just to see how, how it pans out. It might improve, it might not, but we'll never know until the story is told. So... Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just have to see what happens with that. But yeah, I I do think that the specials would probably more than likely um, not act as a farewell tour for Jodie in, in a heavy sense. I think they would be more connected to the series as I feel like these were episodes that were cut from the original 10 episode plan for series 13 before COVID. Uh, and then we've got the next point, more of a desperate hope than a theory. The mass is a timeless child. If the Doctor remains a timeless child, I'll write off the in entire 13th Doctor's era as non-canon and pretend it never happened. Now, I know a lot of people feel like that. Um, I, I'm kind of in the middle with that. You, you know, like, I'm trying to keep in the mindset that, it, you know, we only had that revelation uh, in last season's finale. Uh, we still got another series to go, so maybe there could be some twists and turns. And I think it is likely that the Master knows a lot more than he's letting on, or the Founding Fathers might know more than they're letting on. So, it would kind of be, I guess, ironic that the Time Lord that the well, other Time Lords despise being the Master, and they branded him psychotic and everything like that, he was basically the founding member of, of the Time Lord race and Gallifrey. That would be insane. And for me, that kind of makes more sense, but Still, we'll just have to see what happens. Uh, what if, in the end of the series, we could discover that Dan is another secret incarnation of the Doctor? Yeah, I don't really like that. Um, I Personally, I don't want to see any more incarnations of the Timeless Doctors or anything like that. Uh, or at least in the same capacity as what Joe Martin's Doctor is. Like, if anything, there should be more focus on her Doctor. Um, but, yeah, I think we should just try and wrap up the story arc um, in a good way and not trying to introduce characters that will be redundant, especially with um, the, a new era starting in 2023. Uh, and the next one is either in series 13 or the specials, the Doctor will be the one who opens the boundary and sends the timeless child, her younger self, through to be taken by Tech to you. The 13th Doctor has always been strict on not changing history, so it'll have to be a tough choice for her knowing that the child will be experimented on but she knows that it needs to happen for the sake of history. <coughs> so, um, yeah, I have heard that one before. Um, that would be quite interesting to see that happen, but in a sense that, yeah, it might, you know, with the Doctor doing that, it might be her reasoning to save the future or something like that, or help save the day in the, the final battle that she's facing or something like that. Because she knows while she will be dooming her past self to a you know a hard time, she knows that the future will be saved, maybe or something like that. It 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 would be kind of like a hard one to tell, but it would be like for a good reason, and I guess uh, my theory is that the master has been lying to the doctor, and he's actually the timeless child, and the fugitive doctor is actually the Rani. Um, yeah, I do think that the master is very capable of lying about the timeless child. Um, or he might not actually know, and Rassilon is the one that drops the big bombshell. Maybe. And with the Fugitive Doctor being the Rani, I did actually think that at first, but I think the Fugitive Doctor is definitely the Doctor in some capacity. If it's a parallel universe Doctor, or something like that, um, I don't think, the, sadly, that the Rani is going to have a role in Series 13. Uh, my theory is that Series 13 will air before uh, the trailer, just to mix things up. Yeah. Um, we probably just get a release date like two weeks before or something like that. It wouldn't surprise me at this point. Um, my my theory is that the Doctor will be travelling in the old times of Gallifrey and looking about who she really is and where she's from. 
Um, yeah, I do think that could work. Um, we'll be visiting various locations, I imagine, for this series. Um, especially with it being one continuous story, it is possible for having a lot of it set on old times Gallifrey, and that's definitely a time period I would like to see. I love Gallifrey, so it would be nice to see Gallifrey have a big role. I think that the Weeping Angel could be the one from the Space Prison, from Revolution of the Daleks, Angela, and is hunting down the Doctor. Um, another theory I have is that the Doctor is going through time to trying to find Tech Tayun and maybe seek revenge, then learn that either the Master was lying about the time of the child, or that he just told a lie um, that the Time Lords gave to him. Yeah, that, w that would be a very interesting one, to have that Weeping Angel tied into Revolution of the Daleks. That would be pretty cool, as I was kind of disappointed with that whole um, prison ship um, sequence, because it just kind of felt redundant that the Doctor was rescued from prison um, quite quickly. So we'll kind of have a you know, nice little bit of continuity moving forward. Um, but yeah, still the Weeping Angels are back and I'm very happy about that. Uh, anyway, uh, the, the next part of the theory you mentioned as well about the Doctor going through time to find Tech Tayun, that is also a possibility that could be um, part of this big story that's being told through all the episodes of Series 13. Uh, whether she wants to seek revenge or not, that that's up to debate. Um, I do think like the morals of the 13th Doctor is all over the place, so maybe, maybe she could be the one seeking revenge. Um, and again, the massive line about the time of the child, very, very possible. So, yeah, interesting. Uh, another point, Yaz and Dan will uh, will be gone in the Ace way, like Ace in Survival for the specials 2022. Yeah, um, I think that, if, if anything, the way that um, Jodie's Doctor will end up going um, towards the end of the series... Um, I think that will be done in a way that when the series picks up in either 2023 with the 60th year or the following year um, with a full series under Russell T Davis, I think we will more than likely get um, yeah we'll we'll have like a big time lapse I think um, with the show or well, like the future seri series of the show will act as like a soft reboot similar to what we got in 2005 so it's possible uh, that we're going to get a release date annoyingly late yep very possible Lee is Dan or Vinda or some other character um, Ruth Doctor split regeneration or the Valyard not a pre first Doctor or between the war games since I feel like it's two fan fictions plus for the non Doctor Who fan it would be way too hard for them to co comprehend the war games and the gap briefly plus I don't think there's a way to explain it in the show without it coming out really forced, slow and boring. Also, the mass is going to be the time of child. So the first bit, the mass will be in the time of child. Again, I've constantly said it's very possible. And a lot of people seem to think that. Um, Lee is Dan. Um, I mean, yes, Lee from um, Fugitive of the Jadoon. I literally just remember that character. It could happen. Dan could be that same character. We know that at least he was a Time Lord. And it's up to debate if he, if he was actually killed by uh, the Jadoon, it's very possible. And uh, the Roof Doctor being a split regeneration, maybe. Um, the Valyard, I wouldn't say so. Um, but then again, it, it could happen. I would love to see the Valyard finally explored and the origins of the Valyard. Um, but in terms of a pre-first Doctor, I, I guess, yeah, that's what it's hinted towards being, but I feel like it's very obvious. And, and I would well, if anything, it would be cool to see a secret Doctor between 2 and 3. That would be pretty cool to see, but I guess we'll just have to see what happens. Ruth will turn out to be a multiverse version of the 13th Doctor, and that is why they don't remember each other. Yes, I do think the multiverse will have a little bit or maybe a big role in Series 13, and that is used to explain the whole thing with a timeless child, and that's maybe where these timeless Doctors come from, because... The multiverse is timeless. There's so many different realities, and that's where all these doctors are kind of intertwined in a little bit. It, it sounds a bit a little bit weird, but um, I guess it could act like similar to the Spider Verse or something like that. But yeah, uh, the Rani returns, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, we've got our last theory here. I think that the Thirteenth Doctor will look for answers about the past, and Yas will start questioning about the Doctor's hiding, and then in the finale, Vinda will reveal himself as a male incarnation of Romana and say that he has survived the Time War and has been hiding since then. 
and the Master will turn up and joins up with the Doctor as they both want the same thing and face off against Rassilon, uh, who is in a, in a female incarnation, and also the Sisterhood of Khan. And the Master will try and kill Rassilon, and then turns against the Doctor, and then about to shoot her, but Yaz jumps in and gets shot. And the 13th Doctor will then go on to even born Yaz, and the Doctor and Dan are left travelling together in the TARDIS all the way um, to the three 2022 specials, and Dan will be there to witness the 13th Doctor's regeneration with units. Okay, so let's uh, break down this theory. Um, so, in terms of the Doctor looking for answers about the past, I think that's kind of like the premise of Series 13. Um, that'll be pretty cool to see. Um, it's a solid storyline to start doing. Um... And I would like to see as well um, a kind of like an uneasy dynamic with uh, the Doctor and Yaz. Um, with the Doctor hiding stuff. It, it was kind of a thing with the last series and it will, it will be nice to see that element brought to the forefront of the dynamic of the TARDIS team. And maybe even Dan questioning a few things as well. And again with Vinda being Romana, that would be pretty cool. I would love to see Romana come back and find out what Romana got up to um, after the Time War. It would be very nice to see. I haven't seen Romana since the classic series, so it would be very interesting to see what happens. And maybe, as well, just covering the rest of your theory there, um, like there could be a little bit of a war, maybe in the specials or at the end of Series 13, with various Time Lords, such as Rassilon, also bringing in the Sister Hood of Khan, and maybe other Time Lords, um, well, important Time Lords, so maybe Omega or Tech Tayoon maybe or something like that we could have very important members of Time Lord Society show up representing different points of the argument of the Timeless Child or something like that um, someone arguing against it someone arguing for it and it kind of turns into like a big battle or something or a big di diplomatic debate it's possible but it would be very interesting to see how that would play out on screen but I guess we'll have to see what happens but yeah let's uh, discuss about these theories Okay, so there is a lot to unpack there. There's some amazing theories from you all. Um, there's quite a lot of people that think that the Master is end up is going to end up being the Timeless Child. I think that is quite likely. The Master has always lied, but even then, he could still be the Timeless Child if he didn't lie. The Time Lords are also big liars as well. They have a lot of dirty secrets, um, especially with the Time War and the Timeless Child. I think, I think it is quite possible that, if anything, that the Master could very possibly be that immortal Time Lord. Let's face it, he's been burnt to a crisp. He's been at the edge of his life. You know, there could be easy explanations to why he couldn't regenerate in the classic series and that steel bodies, but maybe his timeless child DNA was suppressed by Time Lord intervention or something like that, and it's recently been unlocked. Maybe when he got killed as Missy. Maybe. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. But um, there's a lot to unpack there. Obviously, Romana, I would love to see come back. Um, R Romana was uh, one of my favourite uh, companions from the classic series, and it would be nice to see her brought back. And I think if anyone's going to do it, I think Chibnall, you know, with his love for the classic series, I think it is quite possible. So, um, yeah, um, I am really, really loving making videos like this, where I get to, you know, see all your comments, kind of um, react to them kind of throw my own stuff and stuff like that it's very nice to see that people are doing theories on series 13 and that's something i like doing and i might do more videos like this in the future but yeah i'll see you all next time thank you very much for the support as always if you are new around here be sure to subscribe for more new content as i am trying to reach 2000 subscribers by the end of this week i said by the end of this month but i just realized that friday is the first of october it would be cool if i can do that but if not maybe reach it by the end of the year but that being said thank you very much for the support leave a comment uh, about what you thought of this video leave a like rating if you enjoyed it and i'll see you all next time goodbye for now.